Good afternoon. Today is the 28th of May. And I just wanted to do a short video about this little unit. This is the Kenwood um, KA5700. Um, got this little amp, got knows, uh, four or five years ago. Bought it off of eBay and it was um, uh, broken. It was like for parts or repair. So, got it. Um, I think it was, I don't know, it was very cheap. And it was a output transistor was bad. I replaced that myself. I think I recapped this um, little unit. And also the um, lights on the UV meters were broken. I put um, uh, clear, I think it was uh, clear LEDs. But this is a very, very nice little amp. Uh, if you're starting or whatever, um, it works great with like, you know, speakers or just uh, infinity speakers. I think I had it hooked up with some infinity speakers. <laughs> I also hooked them up, uh, hooked, hooked it up with some um, um, uh, Radio Shack, uh, the old speakers that I had somewhere laying around and the sound was pretty good. I got them on like a Goodwill for like 10 bucks and they look pretty good. And, uh, but the main thing is that this little amp, well, it has um here's the um power uh speaker selector right here uh bass and treble and this huge humongous um uh, um volume um control uh on top is the balance uh, right and left and the input selector there's really not much to it i mean you know there's a tuner uh, input auxiliary for CDs or MP3, whatever you want to hook up on it, and the um, and the, and the uh, phono, which is pretty good too. Uh, in the bottom, you have a tape monitor. Uh, as you know, back in the days, we used to have tape monitors for like you know cassette player or the reel to reel and all that kind of stuff. Uh, equalizer also, you could hook up with that. Uh, and then the monitor is like when you bypass the cassette uh this little button here sub uh, sonic right there that you use when you use the phono amp and the sound like if you're having some issues with like ground or whatever you use the subsonic but it just like give you a different sound to the phono only works for the sono stage uh, nothing else can recall that this big button is plastic or it's uh, full aluminum but this little amp uh, puts like i think it was like 20, uh, hold on, hold on. I guess I should have the uh, <laughs> specs uh, on my head before I should have started the video. But anyways, it's 40, 40 um, watts per channel. As little as it is, I think it puts out a lot. Uh, back in the days when they told you 40 watts per channel RMS, usually could have put easily 45 or 50 watts per channel. I have not tested that capability yet, but you know, according to the manual Hi-Fi engine, it says 40 watts per channel in one uh, very, very neat um, uh, a feature about this particular amp is that it has 0 0.05 total harmonic distortion, meaning that you can just like, you know, pump up the volume and you will get very little distortion, depending on the speakers, of course, but um, you know, the amp itself will just like try to keep the sound as neat as possible for you. And that is very nice. When I tested this amp, I mean, the bass was outstanding. Treble was not that bothersome. I don't think it was that bright, but it was very, very uh, delicate and neat. I'll probably just get a sound bite real quick and then see how that goes. But um, I'm really happy with this amp. I don't think I never part out. Um, I love Kenwood. I like Pioneer better, but this little unit is very, very nice. So let's just go ahead and then just get a sound test. Just like, you know, be right back. Okay, here it is. It's hooked up now. It needs a little cleaning because I haven't used it in a while, but um, it's hooked up. Um, this is the uh, sound. I just have a um, um, some stuff that I downloaded from uh, YouTube. Uh, no copyright so we can listen to the song. Mm -hmm. 
Um, actually, let me put it all flat and no loudness. It's This is it is a little a monster, <laughs> 40 uh, watts per channel. Sound is pretty clean, still need a little cleaning, but I think it still sounds pretty good. I, I just realized that it's missing this button somewhere, probably when I was bringing it to the office or something. But anyways, so this is it, it's 40 um, um, watts per channel. And again, the song, it's another song. <laughs> This little guy is much better than any new amp out there with 40 like I said I mean I can only bring it up to like three um, not even four and it's like you know blowing up this the room this room is like 10 by 12 but anyways so this is it is a short review of this um, Kenwood uh, KA5700. I got these, like I said, like for parts or repair, and I just replace the output transistor, and it's just like kicking like like a mule. So it's uh, pretty nice. I changed also. I remember now the um, lights on the UV meters. They're like a white LED, so it needs, looks pretty neat. Uh, just like take a quick shot with the outside hole, though. This is how they look real quick, and in the dark. I got with these little guys so hopefully it won't come up too dark just wanted to um, bring out the um, the uh, white LED that I put on on the um, UV meters so this is basically like I said it's a KA5700 Kenwood 40 watts per channel little uh, nasty uh, monster uh, leave your comment thank you <laughs> 